Hey YouTube. Hey. I'm just relaxing in bed right now and have my little pets. <laughs> this is Lily with me. Yeah. It's Friday evening. Oh, I have a lot on my mind right now. I was watching some things, um, oh, um, videos, and um, I was watching some things about, um, oops, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. I was watching some uh, videos about, um, I mean, about, about women's rights, you know, what's happening to women and children all over the world. First uh, shows I was watching was about um, uh, brides, teenage, uh, I'm sorry, um, young brides. Some of them were, one of them was actually 10. I'm looking at them. I said, this is awful. The, what makes me sad about it is that it's, you know, they have no say in the matter. And it's the parents that's behind it. And it's all about money. They're taking the girls and they're making the money off of them. They have debts. Family has debts. And so they say, oh, well, you know, if we marry her off, well, she's probably better off. Or they say, oh, well, um, if she loses her virginity before marriage, she'll never get married. I'm thinking, who in the world is going to have sex with a little child? In a, in a, in a society that's going to mistreat her? You know, he said that they have more reverence for the pervert there than the young innocents. It, it was it was awful, and then I then I watched um, some shows about um, um, trafficking, what they call sex trafficking, uh, in the U.S. and overseas. Same thing. You have um, people in poverty, and uh, especially like in Asia. And uh, let's say something happens to the father and the mother's just uh, destitute. The mother might feel pressured or you have aunts. Some of the, some of the people that they interviewed, it was the aunt who sold a little, a little girl to slavery. Well, sex prostitution. <laughs> I mean, what do you call it? Yeah, pr prostitution. And... Um, one aunt sold the girl twice. She had run away the first time. And she felt forced to go, you know, she was only 13 or younger. I mean, what's a little kid going to do? So she feels, feels forced to go back to her aunt, and then the aunt did it again. She managed again to escape that, but she was, you know, this time she didn't go back to the aunt. But this time, she had to prostitute herself just to survive on the street. I think it's disgusting for an adult male to have sex with children, little girls. You have adult women that they can have sex with. They have, there's always some woman that wants willing to do anything for some for for money. But to do for it to a child. It's um heartbreaking to me. You know? Mm. It just has me thinking. And some of them they uh, and then the, the one in the state, the guy um had a girl well had two women in the car with them. And then they spot these two young girls. One was 14, one was 15. It was in Ohio. Toledo, Ohio. And the girls were just going to get some, uh, I, um, like, a, like a type of ice cream. And then run back home uh, to their parents. And uh, it was raining at the time. So a car pulls up. The girl, what did the girl, um, the older of the two, the 15-year-old girl, says uh, that she thought she knew the guy. It was someone's 
father from school. So, and um, the lady in the car with them, she seemed pleasant. The girl is recounting, uh, accounting. Um, and so, and they said, oh, uh, we could just drop you off at the, the store, you know, uh, it's raining. So they trusted them and uh, they get kidnapped and were f they, they were forced to prostitution. I think they were away for 10 days, but it's 10 days of hell. And um, I started thinking about, just man, it's, it's modern day slavery. And here the guy in that situation was a black American guy. And the two other women, the adult women in the car were whites. I said, you know, you know, it, it, it's, when I hear things like this, you can't even talk about reparations. You're doing nastiness like that. That guy got his reparations. It's disgusting. We don't learn. We don't learn. We, we, so self-consuming. We want our desires met, you know, and and our desires are, are warped and perverse. We take little children and and they profit off of them. And the more they get, the more they want, you know. I said, these adult men who are doing this, you know, I just think that they should just take something and shove it up their own, you know what, you know, and take a picture of it. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> you know, I can't stand men who make money off of women and little children. I think people, whether men or women, who are pimping, that they should be pimping children should be thrown in jail for life and do slave labor. That's how I personally feel, you know? I, I'm i just sad about the human condition. And it, it's something that you can't escape. You go to Asia, you go to, to the Americas, and I know they do it in Africa too. They're, they're taking, I saw a documentary that they're taking, the parents are selling their kids to pay off for debt, you know, the amount of money that they're making, that's what's so interesting. That when they, when they use the kids for illicitness, they make so much money. And so it's not like they're in poverty. They just have a lust for money. It's really something the Bible does say that the love of money is the root of all evil, all kinds of evil. That is something else. Thank you. Hey, what are you doing down there? That's my one of my dogs. I hear him chewing on something, and I don't know what he's chewing on. I'm sorry. So I'm really, I'm, I'm really, I'm concerned about our society. You see, like, there's no escape. I keep thinking in the back of my mind that it has to be some place I can just run to for safety, you know, to just see like like a heaven. You know? I, I want I wanna see heaven on earth. And everywhere I go, everywhere I see, that is something just bad out there. You know? I pray for the safety of young, of young children, of women all over the world, you know, the, and, and uh, it doesn't about poverty, you know, you women, you have to be more selective about who you're marrying, who you're pairing yourself with. If that man cannot provide for you, he's not going to be able to provide for, for when you get pregnant and children. You know, I say, women, get educated. When you have a smart, educated woman, she can build a nation through her family. You know, it takes a bright woman. Women learn how to read, write, math, agriculture, 
etc. Learn as much as you can and teach it, do it as especially that um, so that she can do for herself. So, so she doesn't feel pressured that, oh, she has to take the first guy that comes along. Oh, you know, she, she wants him to take care of her. Uh-uh. You know, it's, it's okay to not get married. You know, and take care of yourself. And you men, shame on you. You know, you're using women to get money. Be a man. And think smart, you know? Think smart and think ways to provide for your family. Think big. You just think from, you're thinking with the wrong head. You know? I think God will honor your efforts doing righteousness, you know? When you have to have a woman or a little girl sacrificing their body, to put food on your table. You should be ashamed of yourself and you should kill yourself. Shame on you. Oh, I know I'm, I'm talking um, kind of stern and angry. But I just wonder what is this world going, you know, getting itself into? You know, it has to be a better way um, in life, a better way to live and people are choosing the wrong way. I pray for salvation of the, the planet. So you two, these are just my thoughts and I hope you have a good evening. Take care YouTube.